Hello! So today um, I'm bringing you another book review. I was sent another bundle of books from Pretty Books, um, some of which I'm reviewing over on the blog, but today I thought I'd show you a video of two of the books I've been sent. Um, they're both white clean books. One of them is Cursive Handwriting, um, and the other one is called Match It. I'll do Match It first because um, this is for like the younger age group. It's um, like I say, it's a white clean book, and it's perfect. I would say for preschool children. Now, um, inside, I'll show you a few of the pages. It starts off simple. You can see there that you have two sets of pictures, two pairs, and um, your child has a pen, which you can see in the middle there, um, that they can match up the pictures. Um, as you progress through the book, the amount of um, pictures on the page increases. Uh, now what I like about this book, it isn't just about matching them, of course what you can do as you go through the book is ask questions about the pictures, so like what are these animals, what sounds do they make, the vehicles, what kind of vehicle they are, again what kind of sounds they make, you can point out colours and then uh, as you get to the end there are lots and lots of pictures to be found and of course um, I'd say it's a bit like uh, like where's Wally, you can say well where is this object and get them to point to it as they're matching up the objects obviously because then they've got to find the matching pair. Um, I think it's a good good book to get uh, like little kids sitting down concentrating because obviously when they start school they have to sit down for that bit longer and um, be a bit prepared to you know not be running around all the time and I know my youngest is on the go all the time and it, this is actually a good way to get her sitting down and concentrating I'll show you a small um, snippet of video of her doing it now well done you can turn the page and do one on another page go on what one you're gonna do What's on the other page? What can you see? I've got this cat. And you're not so cat. Good girl. White cat. The second book, as I said, is um, Cursive Handwriting. Um, now this is, I would say, probably suitable for children from ages five and upwards. Um, I've been using it with my five-year-old. Um, she starts um, started school last year, and when she started, they had to start learning cursive handwriting. A lot of schools don't, they do more freehand, but they start with a cursive. So this is a brilliant way of getting them to practice, but keeping it fun. Now, um, inside, you get more than just letters. So you, you start out with the formation of letters, but what you also get, which I think is handy, is um, you go from the single letters, let me find, and then you start getting like what I would call diagraphs. You can then see there, so like A, I, A, R. So you not only do you get them to practice their letters, Whilst they're writing and practicing the handwriting, you can get them practicing their sounds, which will also obviously help with their reading. Um, and it's a great tool for not just for the kids, but for the parents too, because um, I mean, I don't know about you, but when I, my kids started, I didn't know about phonics, I didn't understand it. So it's a great way for, to reinforce with the parents as well as the children learning. What is helpful is that it moves on to 
actual full words. So as well as learning the handwriting, as well as learning the phonics, you also get down to learning spellings, which is, you know, a great because um, my, my five-year-old's just started in year one and they've just started doing spelling tests. So it's really handy for her to start practicing spellings at home as well as at school. And it, it, it brings it all together. So you've got the letters, you've got the spelling and you've got the handwriting. So it's all skills that they need to learn. And it, you know, it brings it all together. And then at the back, you've got a page where they get to practice the handwriting freehand. So there's no, there's no things to follow. There isn't any letters or anything. They get to practice, so they get to make up their own words and, you know, make up, use their own letters rather than, right, this is how you do it, so it shows by the end of it, whether you know they've taken on board what they've done in the book, um, which is brilliant. I think uh, both of these books are brilliant. Um, like I say, they're, they're good, uh, being white clean, you can pass them down to younger siblings, or obviously you can give them to friends, family, because they're reusable. So you're definitely getting your money's worth out of them, and I highly recommend them. Do, do check out the Pretty Book site. I'll leave a link in the comments below for you to have a look yourselves and see what you think. And down below, if you like what you've seen, and I hope you subscribe, I'll be back with more book reviews, and um, there'll be some more challenges coming up soon too. See you later.